Uh, this is Pompeii by Pinkney Herbert. This is a digital and oil painting. Um, he, he weaves them together so much, the two mediums, you can't even distinguish the difference. Um, he, he's really becoming um, surreal in his abstraction, and this piece is one that he has never shown before. He, he recently completed that. This is Eduardo D'Arte. He is from Rhode Island School of Art and Design. These Buckminster Fuller style domicile blocks, he calls Fijiji blocks. And these are also on display in Art Lab in an installation at the Art Museum of the University of Memphis, in addition to this triangular formation, which Eduardo has installed here for secure his succession. This looks like a Greeley Myatt piece, but it's not. It's part of the actual construction of the space. We're gonna take a quick detour because I wanted to just show you an aerial view. This is Terry Phillips piece, Members of the Board. And as you see, he meets stoves across the chairs and she has crushed pearls that are very subtle, which we'll see when we visit the stage area. Lit by this filmmaking hot light. It's a 50s model, very old. It will light Robin Salant's piece, Discarded Histories. Colin Kidder's The Fence That Catches Bones. This is Jan Hankins. It is no coincidence why this Coke machine is here. It is always here, but I could have rolled it out. But the color combination, which painters use so often, carries out into the space. And the dark side of corporatism, I believe that is reflected here, carries out into here. So I really, I really appreciated leaving that there because the artwork, Whatever object is by that object becomes part of the artwork. This is Ross McLean. This is Thursday night, garbage night. 